it's giving that girl, it's giving island girl. And about the hair, girl, this first bundle still not done. Pause, flag on the play. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's the Bray Producer, period. One year ago, I made my first YouTube video ever and a year from then, I am back. And I'm ready to take this thing on the road. Like, let's get this show on the road, period. My hair has grown back. Currently, I'm about to do my hair in some boho knotless braids. Um, I don't think I'm gonna start in the day, to be honest. Today is Tuesday, March 26, 2024. I don't think I'm going to start my hair today because it's currently 3.22 in the afternoon and I know I'm not going to make it. I'm fasting um, for Ramadan and uh, I'm already tired. I've been up since like 3 a.m. this morning planning out my YouTube videos, what the topics will be. Um, planning out my YouTube videos. This is the first one. So... I don't think I'm gonna, um, I went to the hair store to get the stuff that I needed for my clients this week because I know I'm gonna take the next two days to do my hair and I'm not gonna go to the suite until I really need to go. So I am going to, I believe, part my hair out today and then get up early in the morning again, start it and try to have it finished by Thursday afternoon. Cause today is Tuesday and I don't want to take three days. I don't got time. I'm going to do free parts. I'm going to do a medium size. I believe I probably do the top one small, but all the back and all that I'm doing medium size. I'm not doing box parts because I try to get too technical and I don't got time for that. So I'm going to do free parts, knotless braids, boho. The hair that I will be using for my install. Um, I'm going to use synthetic braided hair, but this is the curly hair that, oh, it's so cute and it's so soft. This curly hair is hair that I ordered off of YG Wigs. Um, I think it's also called Y Wigs. I'm not really certain, but I saw a girl on TikTok um, purchase this hair and I love her braids. And I was like, let me try this out because I've tried a few um curly braiding hairs for boho even though I've not done boho with actually curly hair the last time I did boho it was more wavy in texture it was not curly at all um and so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna put the link in the description box for my link that you can use to go and purchase this hair um and look how pretty that is like y'all it's so soft I shampooed and conditioned it I let I put some leave-in conditioner on here so like just let it be in there. I didn't um, wash it out. And this is the hair that I'm using. I got two bundles. These are the double drawn. Look how much hair that is, girl. I can get an install if these had webs. I got the I got two bundles of 18 inch. 18 inch is the way to go. If you want to do not boho knotless braids and you considering what length you want, do 18 inch. Because even if you use a shorter braid of hair, it'll give you that length that you really want if you want length. If you don't want length, go 14 inch, 16 inch. But 18 inch is like the way to go. Anyway, look how much hair is in these bundles. Like that's a lot of hair. I don't think I'm gonna use them all in my install. I'm gonna use as much as I can, but I don't want it to be too bulky because my head is small. So girl, I don't want it to be too bulky. I'll put the link in the description box so that y'all will be able to see. This is my first YouTube video back and popping. Um, I have so many videos that I am looking forward to doing. YouTube is like my task this year outside of other things, especially business-wise. Um, YouTube is one of my biggest tasks this year to put out consistent, quality, long-form content um, and videos on YouTube. So shout out to all my subbies, which I want to be called because I feel like I'm about to call y'all sub pros sub pros or subbies i can just go with subbies subbies is quick it's easy and i think i already called y'all that 
on my Instagram. So it's giving subbies, okay? Shout out to all my subbies. For all of y'all who have subscribed to the channel, when I first posted my first YouTube video, my second YouTube video, which was a live that I had did on Instagram about policies um, and procedures and how to go about that. If you didn't watch that video, either one of those videos, go back and watch. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to be talking while I do this because I'm already, like I said, I'm fasting and girl, I'm not trying to be out of breath. I'm already out of breath. My mouth is already dry. Like, I, I don't know. It might give voiceover. If it do, I'll try to record as much as I can of this process, um, so that it can be long enough and we can just go into detail about what I'm looking forward to this year is 2024. And I am in such a different place in my life. Y'all wouldn't even believe it. Half of y'all don't even know because I don't really talk about my personal life on my business page. But hopefully I can be a little bit more transparent and vulnerable on here um, to a certain extent. Obviously, I'm not going to give y'all all the rundown, but um, to a certain extent so that y'all can understand me, where I come from and um, what y'all can look forward to on this journey as long as well with me. So. Um, thank y'all for subscribing. Tell a friend and tell a friend. They could be coming here to this channel to see, hear, and get to know more about all the Breda business, all that stuff, like all that stuff. And it's not going to be necessarily like Breda business. Like, you know, a lot of the, yeah, it is Breda business. Let me not even cap. It's Breda business, but it's on a different level. It's not so much technique showing you what to do even though if y'all want i can't upload that type of stuff but it's more so the behind the scenes and how to actually run it in um how your mental health can be challenged how you can be challenged as a person challenged as a person in this business of the beauty industry particularly being a braider some of the um things and difficulties that we face how to get over them um how to develop yourself in a more positive light so that you can attract the clients that you want so those are some of the things that i'll be talking about and again i look forward to those videos i hope that y'all look forward to them also thank you for subscribing like comment share this video and tell a friend and tell a friend period period i need that quote off here we go <laughs> i'm gonna start by parting out my hair and but i'm gonna split it in half as i would my clients i really don't want these parts to be small the last time i did free parts on my hair girl they were so small i had did many um you know like the mini uh mini braids that's trending on tiktok i had did those and the parts was so freaking small it's not even funny but i was braiding using my real hair so it really didn't matter how small they was but in terms of how much time i got before i gotta go to work on friday and um how much time i got by the time i gotta go to work on friday and what i'm willing to do is not giving small parts so i don't got time for all of that i, I really want to do medium parts the middle of my head is so tender it is so tender. If I look crazy at any point in this video, girl, you know how it be when um when you braiding your own hair. If you braid your own hair. Um I'm trying to think of where to start in the video in terms of what I want to talk about. And pardon me if I'm not looking at y'all. It's just because I'm I have a mirror right there in front of me and one in the back of me. And obviously y'all know I'm about to braid my hair, so I it's not I can't like look at y'all for a for real. Um so that's the this is what we looking with. I'm so glad my chair spin. <laughs> um where do I wanna start? The main thing is like I'm just tired of doing what I, I'm just tired of not doing what I could be doing as a person who has built her platform, especially on social media. Um, and I feel like I can just be offering more. And I think that by being consistent on YouTube, 
offering more to the people who support me, support my page. They love my content, stuff like that. I just feel like I'm not doing enough in terms of the value that I am giving out. I think that I'm holding back. And a lot of what was holding me back in terms of not creating the content and really being focused in my business was my personal life. Um, I was in a very awful, and it's no shade, no tea, but I was in a very awful relationship and it deterred me from being my best self. And so now that I'm out of it, I'm just ready to do what I need to do, make an impact on my audience, how I should have in the beginning, um, plain and simple, like. I'm ready to make a real live impact like not no i don't think i'm gonna use product to keep these down i think i'm gonna just plant them but anyway i'm ready to make a real live impact within the um hair industry particularly the braid section um i know that there is a lot of people who are doing their thing thing and they inspire me um i do have a few people that i'm just like wow like this person is doing their thing like it's inspiring and i think that i myself have something to offer to this community to this industry and again i just feel like i was held back by my personal life circumstances and now that i'm out of it i'm ready to like jump in and it took a while for me to like really be about that life because it was just so much that I was personally going through in my life and it was a distraction like it was not allowing me to really be my best self y'all that's really all that I can say um and so I'm I'm going to strive to put my best foot forward with the information that I give y'all what I put out in my videos and just really try to offer value um, that's that's the main thing for me. I want my platform to be educational. I want people that when they come to my platform, they, they be so inspired that they go and do what they need to do, um, that they make their life better, um, that they go and be the best braiders that they can be. And of course, it's not all about braiding per se, but um, because, you know, life, but I don't know, that might be too big. You know, braiding is not all about braiding because it's so much of you in the business um, of braiding that it's kind of like, if you ain't right, nine times out of 10, your business ain't gonna be right. Like you working for yourself ain't gonna be right. And that's something that I've come to learn um now you can like still try to move on and make things ha make things happen while you're in the process um but it's just not going to be your best it's just not going to be your best and who wants to put stuff out into the world that is not quality or not really their best self like you feel what i'm saying like it'll get you by for so long but then you start questioning like dang this not even really working and i can say this because this is how i was and this is what i'm in the process of trying to work myself out of like what is what really is my purpose in doing all of this like what am i creating content for what am i trying to inspire other break like what am i doing type of thing so um that's a challenge that I faced within the last couple of years. And it may not look like it, you know, like it may not seem like it may not look like it may think people may think like, girl, you doing good and this and the third and blah, blah, blah. Girl, it is not given. It was not given at the time. And again, I'm working myself out of it. So yeah, yeah. Let me, um, get some of this popping and then i'll come back and talk to y'all because i don't want to just be rambling on and on not even making no sense just talking just talking girl so let me stop this <laughs> I've heard it all Our conversations got me feeling I'm the fool Like I should
bringing up the whole um relationship thing because i don't really talk about my personal business like real live personal business on social media no form of social media instagram tiktok youtube now like none of that and so i had to take a little quiet moment but nevertheless um i don't know who keep calling that work phone hold on hello Hello. 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 I don't know why. Like I've been getting so many calls on this day on phone. Like I don't know y'all. Buenos dias. Like what? I don't even speak Spanish, homeboy. I don't talk about any of that on social media so I think I just got a little awkward about that because I brought it up but again I just want to be very transparent with y'all very vulnerable in a sense to a certain extent like I mentioned um and that's just one of the things that happened in my life like that relationship it was horrific and it really beat me down um and it really had an impact on my mental health is the most part it really had an impact on my mental health and from that I think that I suffered um, I suffered generally, but I also suffered business wise because it caused me to lose traction in what it is that I was going for. I couldn't really focus on my business and all the aspects of it. Like, yes, I still was putting out dope fiends amount of content like I really was. But it was because I was using creating content as a means of not thinking about what I was dealing with at home. So like, girl. It was so bad. I would get up at like four o'clock in the morning and not to say that this kind of work ethic is bad, but the reasoning and the intent for why I was putting out so much content, especially on Instagram and TikTok, um, how I was and which in turn actually built my platform. Um, but saying it to say like it was the intention behind why I was doing it as well as the reasoning was not as great um, in terms of like things actually sticking and so now i'm just taking it from ground zero basically even though i'm not at ground zero because i already have a platform and stuff like that yes but i'm talking about some really trying to find my audience who can relate to me in this sense like where i'm at now as opposed to the reasons why i was putting out as much content as i was basically like a band-aid if you will or just trying to get myself out of a rut, the rut that I was in. But that was never going to change until I left, to be quite honest. Like, and that's why y'all would see me kind of go months and months of not posting content. Um, because my mental health was suffering, to be quite frank. Um, my mental health was suffering and I was not, I was not as available mentally. Um, there was times where I really did not want to braid no more. And I still feel a way about braiding right now currently, but it's in a different light. Like I'm ready to progress on to teaching full throttle as opposed to being behind a chair full throttle. And we'll ex discuss and expand more into that throughout the series of videos that I put out God willingly. Um, and again, this is just so that y'all can get to know me a little bit more and not just think that, oh, this, I follow this braid on Instagram. Her name is the braid producer and that's it. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to, I want to build a connection with y'all. I want y'all to have a connection to me. Um, and so that I can help y'all, y'all can help me and we can do this thing. That's like, that's like my main goal. That's my main, 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 main goal of all of this is to build a platform, especially on YouTube, but even everywhere else, Instagram, TikTok, all of that, um, to really be an educational place where writers can come to and be inspired and want to do more, want to be better, and how to really get over themselves because 
a lot of this that we do in the hair industry and why clients have some of the experience that they have and why certain stylists, braiders, hairstylists, all of that have certain experiences the way that they do, especially in a negative light, is because of that self-development, personal development that we sometimes lack in this business, even though it's a customer service industry, to be quite frank. So, um, again, that's that's what I want to explore and expound on more i hope that y'all find the videos forthcoming to be beneficial to be helpful something that you can learn from something that you can um implement and use within your business no matter what stage you're at because i'm at i've been braiding full time since 2018 it's currently 2024 so we all need self-improvement we all need um to go upward instead of down and downward and declining and stuff like that so i really hope that y'all find these videos beneficial i really hope that y'all find these helpful and i'm gonna continue parting out my hair i already have this one section done here i feel like these are not even medium i feel like these are still small because i'm thinking about when i have to start installing how long this will take me um and i'm not very confident that this is big enough but I also don't want to make them too big because I want to have that fullness still. And also, I, I just, I don't know. That's, that's the problem with doing your own hair is like, you have this idea in mind, but this still looks too small to me. Like, ugh. And I don't want my braids to be bulky. Like, I'm already going to have all that curly hair in it and it's bigger than what I'm used to. So, I I don't know, but I know good and well, one thing I'm not doing is taking these out. Like, I'm going to have to make either the middle big and the other side. I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to figure this thing out. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to hit record, and I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm going to jam out to my music as well. So, if y'all see me dancing in these clips, it's the music, boo. It's the music. Okay, bye. Pull up in this world that I get you for I guess I couldn't handle it oh. And I know you're probably thinking I ain't worth shit But I never want anyone to bring you any harm And I take it all back just to have you in to forgive me but here go the parts i'm thinking i might try to do half of the back tonight i really don't feel like it because it's about to be time enough for me to break my fast it's 4 37 the sun set at like 7 40 ish 7 50 ish something so i guess i could use my time wisely and actually try to get some of this done today i already prepped the braiding here on my braiding rack i do it the same way that i do for my clients if y'all want to see a video of that please let me know in the comments drop it in the comments let me see how you prep that braiding rack and also too i feel like i'm talking as if the people on youtube are familiar with me via um instagram and tiktok so if you don't know me from either of those places and you newly found me on youtube i'm gonna probably post this video at the beginning because it don't even make no sense why i would even just do this right now but nevertheless my name is brianna um i'm from baltimore maryland i moved to dallas texas in 2020 so i've been here since um i've been braiding since 2018 i think i mentioned that earlier i've been braiding since 2018 and i am on the road to 
getting my life and my business back straight after leaving a toxic relationship um a marriage it wasn't even just a relationship girl i was married so if you haven't followed me on instagram don't follow me on tiktok or none of that please go and do it and familiarize yourself with like my actual content y'all even might be familiar with it too because i be posting shorts on here and stuff too so actually we might be cool we might be all right we might be all right so if none of that applies to you uh just leave it <laughs> to be honest just leave it but anyway um i forgot what i was saying prior to me trying to familiarize her with myself but these are the parts i feel like i think i already said it i feel like they are too small <laughs> i feel like they are too small they're not as big as i actually wanted them to be uh and that's a pain because who's gonna have to do my hair me but i also getting uh i don't know I don't know. I was ready to say I also didn't want them bulky. So that I, I don't know. Maybe I make the front ones a little bit bigger. I don't have no clue. I don't have no clue. I just sometimes when I do my own hair, I just get so stressed because I know it's gonna take me a while. Oh, which is why I'm parting them all out now. And I just put them in some plaits. I ain't even twist them. I just put them in some plaits so that they can stay parted. And if I decide to go to sleep or whatever tonight, this is how they will be. All of this. No, I'm going to go ahead and park the front out, y'all. Hold on. April, May, June. I'm keeping these in until June. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. I'm not even about to play with myself like that. Like this, at least. Like, no. I'm, I'm not taking this out. My other, my mini braids that I had in, I kept them in for, uh, I kept them in for two months. I was traveling, though. And I also did not feel like taking them out. People sit there talking about some your hair gonna lock up. No, they don't. They did not. It did not lock up. I took them out clear as day. But let me keep parting this stuff out, child. Let me keep parting this out. I gotta go. You could do took i was taking breaks getting on my phone and everything i don't know how long that took but then with this side and now i'm gonna do this side and i'm good to go okay y'all i'm finished this other side i feel like these ones are way smaller than the other one but so these out because I'm not taking these out and as you can see I didn't switch into my robe I got cold in here I had my windows out there open and the breeze was just so cold so I'm in my robe and I'm going to chill out until it's time for me to break my fast I'm probably gonna read my book I'm reading the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo um 
I'm probably going to do that and just chill out and then get up super early in the morning tomorrow and do my hair. Hey y'all, I'm back. My whole head is parted out. Whole head parted. So here's how I'm gonna do it. Obviously, I'm gonna keep it split in half, these two front parts, and then I'm gonna split the back half in one part. Um, the time currently is 8.51. So late start for me for braids, but this morning I got up, I made prayer, I did my reading, I did my journaling. Um, I even edited two videos for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. So pretty productive morning for me and I'm feeling excited about that um, because I could have just came and did my hair and not got my spiritual fulfillment, let alone took care of some work stuff because I'm about to be in here until tomorrow. So I'm very proud about that and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm just show y'all, this is the product that I am using. This is the braid product that I'm using. I also have some red shining jam. I, for my clients, I do not, I've never used this for my clients, but for me, I don't care. I'm not really set on these braids being too perfect, which is why I did free parts. Um, I'm not really set on them being too perfect. I just want them in, I want them in firmly. And it's about to give bo um, boho, edgy, Zoe Kravitz mess, messed up braids. That's that's what it's about to give. That's the kind of look that I want to. Well, I have always wanted to give with my boho novice. So that's what it's going to do. And the braiding hair that I went with that I got from my suite, as y'all saw the other day. Um, oh, I started to record that and then I stopped because I was like, I don't feel like this. I didn't even record it. But got this from my suite um, because I don't really care for using this hair on my clients in this length. The 52 inch length of this is cool, but for this, I feel like it thins out too much towards the end on my client. So I don't really care to use this. This is why I'm using it on me. Um, and because it's boho, you're not gonna be able to see it. So it really doesn't matter. I also almost always for my braids, try to use the shorter braiding hair because I'm not really a long braids girl. Um, obviously these will be longer for me because of the boho hair and the boho hair is 18 inch. So it'll be longer, but I'm not really, I don't care. Like, I really don't care um, how short they are. So, I'm going to use this. Um, that's what I have prepped over there. I just wanted to show y'all that before I got started um, so that I wouldn't forget. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Peace. I'm probably going to, no, not even probably. I'm going to catch up on some of my favorite YouTube videos. That's typically what I always use to get me through the process of doing my hair. That or music, I am kind of feeling musically inclined right now. I might go with the Tyla um, new album. I don't think it's released yet, but she has a few songs that's been out and open and circulating. And On and On is one of my favorite ones, as well as True For Dare. I don't even know if it's called that. Now you care, True For Dare. That's the only part I know. So I'm probably going to listen to music first and then go on to my YouTube videos that I have not seen from some of my favorite creators. I'm really into book talk right now. So I'll probably watch a book vlog, a booktuber's vlog. Um, probably Kalila D. I like her. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and get started. Bye. Merrill Man on deck, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. already obsessed girl it's giving island girl it's giving island girl and look how much i got done i literally started a little bit after nine and it's 10 7 i think i started at like 9 8 so it's only been one hour and i have this amount of braids in like pretty the key to doing get installed on yourself quicker free parts shorter braiding hair and boho because the reality is i'm not spending all that time trying to make sure i tuck my hair in because imagine if these was plain no curls throughout i would try to tuck my hair in so that it's not sticking out or so that i personally don't have to cut my hair because i want the braids to be neat and cute 
this i don't care if it's sticking out or not because you're not going to be able to see it so girl if you want to get installed quick use free parts use shorter braided hair and do both of them period i told y'all i use the shorter braided hair but with the um with the curly hair look how long it is like it's giving a little booty length a little bit if i finish this today i'm gonna be too i'm gonna be too through i'm gonna be too through if i finish this today because the way that this is going it's only 10 o'clock and i'm halfway done this first section like stop playing girl stop playing anyway let me let my phone charge bye it's 11.38 and baby, I'm finished this side. Mind you, I started after nine, like 9.08 or something like that. That's 9.10 or 10.11, two, two hours. Took me two hours to do this. <laughs> this is a little bit more crinkly, crinkly than I would like. Um, like I would like it more loose curl, like. Or maybe loose wave, loose wave, loose wave, loose wave. That's what I should have got. I got deep wave, which is why it's like that. Oh, I didn't even think about that. But anyway, this is what is given, girlfriend. Period. That took me two hours to install. I likely can finish my hair today. I'm still on the first bundle. Look how much hair I still got left. This is from the first bundle. I haven't even opened up the second bundle. This is the first bundle still. This is still the first bundle. And like, I was trying to be careful because I didn't want to get to the top of my head or the front of my head and didn't have no more hair. But girl, I got more than enough. And I don't know if I'm going to try to squeeze it all in, but I'm going to for sure try to use majority of this on the other side. Or, you know, just like how I've been doing it. And I probably, I'm more than likely going to have some left over for sure, 100%. Girl, I'm never getting regular knotless no more. I probably just changed the curl pattern. And this is going to be my style for the rest of the year. to that's about five hours y'all i have never like i told y'all i have not ever done my hair in one day besides when i had big parts and regular simple plain braids uh, my mind my mind is already trying to say you need a break you need a break it's not giving break like it's not giving break i probably work all the way up until iftar which is the breaking of the fast um, I'm probably going to do my hair all the way up until then. And because the back section is larger than the two front sections, I'm assuming that I can get these ones done quicker than that one. Because if this back section took five hours, then these should take me two and a half hours, two and a half, three hours. Which I'm fine with it. I cannot stop looking at the mirror. I do fear that this hair is going to be so big once i do the front and i'm not really a big hair person whether it's curls bush like i don't really do all that i really like keep my hair 
put or sh like I don't know straight to my head so I'm kind of worried about the poofiness of it um with the texture but I do love it hey that doing this side was way harder than the right side but that's natural for me because even with my clients I would do the right side like when I was in the process of perfecting my craft I would do the right side so good and then something about the left side was always off and that used to irritate me so bad almost so much so that I ended up starting to work on the left side of the head first and then doing the right side to be able to balance the two because I knew the right side was going to be good so I had to get the left side right and if you are a braider watching this try that if you struggle on one side of the head as opposed to the other start doing the other side of the head the struggle side first so that you can get it up to the standard of the other side of the head this is the first bundle i still have not opened the second bundle that's a lot of hair but i literally like two hours later and i'm getting tired this is where i'm at on this side it was getting me tired or like relaxed because at early I was pumped up. Y'all already saw it. I was pumped up. Um, but I think what's getting me more relaxed or relaxed is me watching these book tubers and the vibe is just so comfy. Like I literally want to stop braiding my hair so I can go read my book. But I said no, we're gonna keep it trotting because I want to have my whole day tomorrow to myself. I already got it in my mind. I'm gonna wake up, do my morning routine go to my suite and set up i'm not even gonna lay back down i'm gonna go to my go straight to my suite and set up and then i probably go to the grocery store because i want to make some spaghetti i haven't had no spaghetti in like a month of sundays and i got a taste for it ever since my brother called me and told me he was making spaghetti i want spaghetti now so i probably go to the grocery store get the stuff that i need for that um and then come back home and edit this YouTube video as well as probably some content for my Instagram and TikTok and YouTube shorts. So that's already in my mind. Like that's what I want to do for, for with my day tomorrow. It does not include me doing my hair. So get it right. Get it right. Get it tight. I'm not even going to break my fast until I finish my hair. Because if I break my fast while my hair is still not finished, I'm going to go to sleep after. Because it's going to be late and I'm going to eat and I just, I don't got time. So, look at my hair from the back. Period. 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 Okay. Let me use this energy I got to go in and do this. Bye, guys. and I just finished this side. My whole body is aching right now. I will not lie to you who did. But here's how it's coming along. Ugh. I'm hoping that by the time that I finish it and I wet it again, it's gonna look like this. Cause this is puffy to me. What is giving it? It's so cute. It's so flowy, it's so cute. I can't wait until I dip on. I can't wait until I dip on. Dip, baby, dip. Come on, come on, dip, baby, dip. Come on. Let me go with you.
hair. And I will give y'all a better frame, but literally I'm trying to break my fast finally. Um, and so this is what I have right now. All done, everything is done. I'm going to dip them, I'm dip them tomorrow. Um, and I'll show y'all the finished results then. Cause right now, girl, if you see my eyes, they did in. So I need to hydrate, I need to eat, I need to do everything. But I think I said the time is 10.55. I finished my hair like 10 or 20 minutes ago, but I was on the phone with my sister, so I didn't record like when I finished, but the hair is cute. Uh, can't wait to dip it to see like how it simmers down. Cause as y'all, as I said already, it's kind of puffy. It looks, it looks good though. Like it's not too big. So whatever. But bye, guys. See y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all. So I'm finally finished. Well, I finished my hair last night, as y'all can see. But I dipped it this morning, and I put some leave-in conditioner. The leave-in conditioner that I used was Design Essentials. Um, I think it's like oat and honey or something like that. Um, but this is the end result of my braids. They so cute and flowy. Figuring it. That's the back. It's just giving.